as you begin working with HTML code, one of the things that you'll frequently need to do is to maybe change more than one thing at a time. And there is an option for that that is going to save you a lot of time working in brackets. The option is found in both Windows and Mac versions of brackets. The option for doing this is found on the menu. So click Find, and it's in exactly the same place on Windows and Mac. Come down to Add Next Match to Selection. And notice that the keyboard shortcut is Control-B, and on Mac that will be Command-B. So Add Next Match to Selection. Now what we have to do is we have to be careful to make sure that we select exact matches. Now an exact match is going to be anything in your code where that whatever you want to change is exactly the same as the other things that you want to change. Now what I want to do here for a demonstration is that in this copy of the Gettysburg Address that I downloaded from Gutenberg.org, we have some dots that are placed in here like ellipses. And what I want to do is show you how we can change all of these at one time. So if I highlight that series of dots, and then I press Control B on this Windows computer, Notice that it selects the next match. Keep pressing Control B, and you'll find all of those exact matches. They're all selected. And now I could edit all of those at one time without having to edit them individually. But let me show you the problem here that sometimes you'll incur and show you how to avoid that. Notice that this first set up here shows a word war, no space, and then the first period. And then after that last period is the letter T. In other words, there's no space before or after these periods. But now look down on the next line here where we have dedicated and then the no space, but we have a period, three of them, and then there's a space. Now watch what happens if I, if I start here and select this set where that I'm trying to find a period, space, period, space, period, space, and I hit Control B, well, there's another one that matches, and there's another one that matches, there's another one, and there's one, and there's one, and that's it. If I keep pressing Control B, I'll do that a few more times, you'll see nothing else is selected because these up here, like on line 15, do not get selected because this is not a match, because this is a period, a period, and a period, but there is no blank space following it as there is here. So you have to be careful. Just learn to study your code and look for exact matches. So I'll do this. I'll select these three because I know that that's the series that I want to find. I'll press Control-B until I've selected them all. Okay, now they're all selected. Now, what I can do here is, since they're all highlighted, I could simply start typing. But let me show you the way it looks. You can either, after you get them selected, uh, press your right or left arrow. In this case, I'm just gonna press the right arrow key. And notice that instantly, I have cursors that have been moved to the right edge of that area that has been selected. They're all just sitting there flashing, waiting for me to start entering something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the backspace key. I'm just going to backspace until I get to that first period. They're all out now. And I'm going to type in the code that I want to have replaced with that. In HTML code, we don't try to put in ellipses with dot, dot, dot. What we try to do is use the command that's it's the ampersign and then H-E-L-L-I-P and then a semicolon. So the ampersign H-E-L-L-I-P semicolon and now notice we still have all of the vertical flashing insertion points. They're all still flashing away. We need to cancel that and we do that by pressing escape now all of the multiple insertion points are gone. The final one is down here and that's great because that's the final one. Let me show you here in the live preview 
that we have these dots that were in here like we just showed so I'm going to come back and I'm going to press control s to save that file and come back and you'll be able to see here now that those dot space dot space dots have all been replaced now with just this code H-E-L-L-I-P and this is the way that it should look in a, in a web page.